Back on popular demand, I'm gonna try to explain a bit more the reversing maneuver. Now, once again, I'm not an instructor, I'm not a certified instructor or anything, I'm just a truck driver, and this is just how I do it. I'm gonna explain the basics. So there's nothing complicated, just a simple reversing to the docks. I know that for some, uh, for some people, this can be very stressful. It can be a bit complicated at the beginning, but don't worry, I'm gonna try to explain how I do it. Maybe, hopefully, you will, uh, you will get something out from it. Now, unfortunately, on my kids' arsenal, I don't have a truck and trailer, but I do have this uh, Land Rover, police car, towing a caravan, which is a very common sight all over the world, I guess. But it doesn't really matter because the principle is the same and you will, do, you will see me doing uh, the exact same thing uh, on, the, on the following videos. So the thing is, let's just imagine the bays are somewhere right over there and you will always see me doing the same maneuver. Now, ideally, when you come in, all you want to do is to get the, the trailer straight and then just reverse it on the bay. But most of the times you won't have enough space to, um, uh, to center your, uh, your truck and trailer. So what I usually do is come in close to the bay. I will try and get the trailer on a 45 degree angle. Now, a very good explanation, I've, hear, I've heard this uh, a while ago, uh, and it makes so much sense. Think of the whole maneuver as what you're actually doing, you're not reversing the trailer, right? What you're doing, actually, is you're pushing the trailer. So you're pushing it on angles, and depending on what angle you're pushing on the, on the kingpin, that's where the trailer will go, okay? Um, this is probably the, the easiest way to explain it. You're not reversing the, the trailer, but actually you're, you're, you're pushing the trailer, right? You can see, it depends on, on the angle you're pushing, the trailer turns left or right, okay? So I, what I always do is I come in, I get it on this 45 degree angle, then spin the tractor unit a bit more, and then I just push it back straight. You can see it push it back. The trailer is getting straighter. And then just follow it along and back it up on the bay. Okay, got an awkward one. Got the, the shunter in our way right here. We're gonna try and park it somewhere. We can either park it right here or right there. I'm just gonna drop and swap these trailers. So it's gonna be easier for me just to be closer to this one. So what I'm doing, obviously we can't make the 90 degree angle. We're gonna do, we're gonna try and make the uh, 45 degree. So you see, I'm close to, I'm close to it. Um, just past the bay. Now that I've passed full lock, but not quite full lock. You can see the uh, the steering wheel. And I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get the trailer to see. I'm I'm trying to see the trailer. The corner of the trailer in that that mirror okay now we're just gonna start reversing window down heads out just slowly making our way in there we go try and keep it on the line and then straighten it up. Do a bit of a shunt. Just to get it straight, aligned properly with the other lines. And here we go. Nice and easy, window down. In case you're gonna hit something <laughs> that you'll know you're hitting or pulling something or anybody's shouting or whatever. Okay, here's another tricky one. We will have to go right here between this truck and this trailer. The problem at this place is that um, the markings on the, um, on the ground, they are not exactly as they should, they are way off. So you can't have your bearings um, from the uh, 
um, from the markings on the ground. Don't know if you can see it, but they are very far away from the bay. See, the markings will not align with the trailer, they are just too far away. So once again, I'm passing the bay, start to turn left. and get that angle seeing the trailer in that mirror now it should be aligned start reversing head out like a dog don't let anyone tell you to uh, put your head inside and I really don't care about that I'm sticking my head out I want to hear everything I want to feel the truck I want to hear any potential problem So we know that we can't uh, rely upon the uh, the markings. Just gonna play it like that. I'm seeing the bay now. Slowly reversing. I'm reversing all the way, trying to get it straight. And then I'll pull forward to open the doors and reverse back again. There we go. We are almost perfectly aligned. Pulling out open the doors and then reverse all the way back just like that all right here's another situation you can see my uh, my strange angle here in our yard in in Baghdad this is the way we have to go in as soon as I reach the next trailer turn left I'm gonna go that way, create an angle. I can't drive in there because that's weak. As soon as I see the trailer on my mirror, I'm good to go. I know I can fit in, there's enough space, and I can just slowly drive it in. Trying to keep the angles so you can see something on the steering wheel as well. A bit close but we can make it then just turn right full lock on the right just drive it in adjust and drive it in And here we go boom now because most trailers have three axles i always get my bearings around the middle axle not the first not the third it doesn't really matter which way you're counting them the middle axle is where you basically your trailer will end up and that's where that's that's how i get my bearings on i'm always trying to follow i'm stepping on a line a little bit if there are lines and i'm following that middle axle because eventually that's where the trailer will end up the last axle and the first axle to add you they're gonna slide a bit more but the middle axle is probably your best bearing to do the uh, this maneuver so there you go just don't don't panic don't rush uh, you always see me when i'm doing the, the reversing maneuver i always try and do it really really slow in low gear i'm not rushing i'm keeping my head out i want to hear anything in case i hit something in case there's someone there don't let anyone tell you you're not supposed to take to, to get your hair out lower both windows make sure you hear everything make sure you see everything turn off the music turn on turn off everything and just focus on the reversing and uh, that's about it for me if you have any questions drop it down in the comment box and i'll catch you guys later thanks bye